Hello everyone and welcome to the pre-launch party of The Bone. Bienvenidos a todos a la fiesta de pre-lanzamiento de The Bone. Eh, yo soy Marco Yamburu, soy el director creativo. I'm Marco Yamburu, I'm the, the, the creative director. Uh, this is going to be in English, actually. So I'm going to leave here a quick message in Spanish for everyone that is watching. Señores, esto va a ser principalmente en inglés. A partir de mañana vamos a poder subtitular todo lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Pero por el momento voy a continuar en inglés. Tenemos muchísimas sorpresas preparadas para ustedes. Así que, pues, empecemos. The first thing uh, we want to start with is this video. Just let me go real quick. <laughs> Hope you're ready again. I am Mark, creative director at One Game Studio, and we want to improve reality. The world is an incredible place, yet we are spending more and more time inside absorbed by screens. So we decided to use the same technology that got us here to get us back out in the world by creating The Bone, the first ever experience of fighting with superpowers in real life. Combining your smartphone with augmented reality and our proprietary hardware, the Bone delivers experience where you are the main character. The world is your stage, and our hardware, the tool that would let you fight against other players with superpowers in real life. We have been working on this technology for over three years. Everything we are showing you are real, fully functional prototypes, and we are almost ready to go into production. All we need now is your support. We have spent thousands of hours designing, prototyping, testing, discussing, redesigning and testing again to create all you need, your caster gear. Your smartphone is the gaming console that is placed in the headset to project the AR interface. Our technology uses the power of your smartphone to make this experience as affordable as possible. And this, this is your EPON, a specialized electronic weapon that allows you to control, manipulate and cast the superpowers you will use in combat. We call these superpowers Power Archives. There is no fire or parry button. Buttons are for navigation menus. Your powers are summoned and cast by physical movement. So a combination of precision and speed is key. Your technique is everything. The Bone app allows players to organize into groups to set matches in real world locations. Our team will also launch official tournaments and recruitment centers where you can train and fight with rental gear. To prepare for combat using only your phone, you will explore your environment to harvest resources and power archives. Even if you don't own your personal caster gear, you can use the app to level up power archives and compete in the multiplayer online combat simulator. Our amazing team of developers and angel investors with experience in gaming, hardware, esports, and entrepreneurship has been hard at work to deliver this. We see the bone developing into a groundbreaking global sport that combines elements of esports and live action role playing that you could watch via streaming. We are now on Kickstarter because we want to make this massive, amplify our scope, and involve you and others that share our vision in the continuing design of the gaming experience. It's a long way to go. This is not a project where we deliver a product 
to you and that's it. No, this is a long term experience and we want you to be a part of it starting today. Feel free to dive in into our campaign to find all the details. Support us on Kickstarter, become part of this community and be the first to have superpowers in real life. My name is Mark, uh, as you already saw, and today we have a whole experience uh, planned for you. We're going to present officially the bone and, all, and a lot of stuff. We're going to give away all the rewards that we have been uh, planning with all the recruits for over a year right now. Uh, but right now, uh, I want to present you the other host that is going to be with us. His name is, uh, well, his name is Bernardo, but no one knows him like that. Uh, everyone calls him also. He is the uh, game design leader here at The Bone. So um, while I present this also, please tell us about you. Yeah, hi. So as Mark says, as the, I'm the lead game designer of In The Bone. And you can call me also. It's my nickname. Everybody calls me like that. And I'm going to be presenting you different aspects of the game. And as soon as the presentation is, is, is ready, um, we, can, we can begin. We have been working a long, long time for this moment. And we're on less than a week away that we can launch in Kickstarter. We're very, very excited that you are here. There's almost 300 people watching, so thank you very much. So let's begin. Um, as a lead game designer, I need to begin by the beginning of the gaming experience. So one of the first things that you're going to encounter when playing the bone are Nerias. So what is a, a Nerea? A Nerea is your virtual companion or training partner. These are entirely cosmetic and will not have any impact in the game mechanics or in your performance. So you can see them as combat skins. Since they are fundamental in, in the game, you, you can find them in three different places. First, you're going to find them in the training mode. So you're going to be able to train with your Epon or with your caster gear against a bot that's going to help you improve your skills, like mastering the casting pattern of the power archives, or maybe, maybe improving your speed or your knowledge of the game. So this is one aspect of the game. We, you, we are also going to be able to fight online against other players that are going to be represented by an area. So you're going to be able to control one. So it's, this is how you're going to look when the other player sees you. And you're going to be able to fight when there's not w someone to play with in real life next to you. So you can play online at any moment. And at last, you can play the combat simulator that it's a multiplayer online battle arena um, smartphone game that you're going to be able to, to play. And you're going to be able to practice there, unlock power archives, gather resources, and practice different strategies. So since Nereas are a fundamental part of the gaming experience, we decided to add this item as a reward in the Kickstarter campaign, but not any Nerea. This one's going to be a special one. Why? First of all, because it's going to be exclusive. Only the backers in the Kickstarter campaign are going to have this specific skin. And also, it's going to be designed by you, by the community. So how is this going to happen? you are going to be able to decide what features you want the Nerea to have. For example, um, you might want it to be a creature-like or maybe like a robot or like a device. So we are going to put all these different features in Discord for the community to vote. And you together are going to decide what Nerea is the one that's going to best represent this community. That's pretty neat. Actually, we're, we're gonna, what we're going to do now is that we're going to uh, explain you each of the perks that it's going to be out there in Kickstarter while explaining the game. And this idea that had also about the Kickstarter exclusive Nerea, uh, we thought it's amazing because with your boat rights and with your voice, we will create one exclusive that the only way to obtain it is their backing, backing us in Kickstarter.
Now, uh, we decided that any perk, anyone who enters into Kickstarter next Thursday, March 16th, uh, they should have a thing we called Founders Pack. And a Founders Pack, it's built by four main things. The first one is we will send you a personalized letter of gratitude telling you, like, thank you for backing us. Thank you for being bar part of this community. Like, all the people that is watching right now, like, really thank you. You are building the bone. Second, you're going to appear in the game credits. So anyone that backs us at Kickstarter uh, will have his name printed, his or her name printed in the game credits. Then on Discord, for all of you that are fans of that social platform, you'll have a special, unique, no, transfer no transferable tag on Discord to distinct from all the other people that it's going to come over the years. At last, but not least, the voting rights. So as developers, we like to ask a lot of questions. And the idea of this is that we as a community develop the bone together. So with your voting rights, sometimes we will uh, place some decisions that we need to make. If you're a backer, if you have a founder's back, your, bolt, uh, your voice will become a boat and that decision will be taken by you. Like Danaria that also just talked about it. Uh, also, there are the early accesses. As you know, the bone is still in development. And there are a lot of questions out there that I want to address right now. The first of all is the bone, it's going to be a free app, free to play, ever free. We are not going to charge you to download the app. Second thing is this is never going to be a pay to win experience. We hate that things as gamers and we don't want to build that anything that it's near that. That is my third point, the no time restraints. There are a lot of mobile games out there that is like, if you want to continue grinding, uh, you need to pay. No, this is not uh, the place where that is going to happen. And of course, it's going to be compatible for Android and iOS. And there's a lot of people asking, like, my phone is going to be compatible or not? Well, uh, if your phone has is Android and has AR Core or Apple, well, iPhone, and has the AR Kit, it's going to be compatible. Out there, there's a list. We're going to publish it. But what I want to tell you here is that in 2023, it's projected that half of the cell phones or the smartphones out in the world are going to be uh, compatible for the bone and for AR. So if your phone is not compatible right now, the probability that when you change it, uh, that the probability of changing it and have the necessary requirements is like practically uh, a given. It's going to happen. We divided then the early access. So everyone that back us on Kickstarter will have a pre-early access divided in four groups. The first group is going to release on July 2021. Uh, and some of you that played the alpha uh, last year, at the end of last year, are, are saying like, why are you taking so much? Well, you know, uh, with all your input and feedback, we use all that to get us into here. But now we need to improve a lot of stuff that you're going to look back into, that you're going to look in this presentation. So, so the main idea is to uh, give us the time to give you a much, much better experience. So the backers of group, group one will be on July 2021. Then uh, group two on October 21, group three on January of the next year. And we think we're going to be in beta phase on March 2021. I know this looks like a long way to go. But to be honest, we're trying to build a breaking ground experience. In order to do that, we need to take the time. We need to make the, the, prop like the proper testing. We need your feedback. But what we're promising here is that since today, or well, actually you are, but you're part of this community. And it's not all about having the beta phase, it's about the process of involving you to, to get us there into beta. And we want, we want to make you part of this. And in Kickstarter, we didn't, we didn't want to sell like items, random items. So we did these things that we call packages or perks. 
The first perks uh, we're going to have is the recruit one. The recruit, the recruit uh, package in Kickstarter, it's going to have an early access group one in the first 24 hours and will include naturally the Kickstarter exclusive Nerea, the founders pack, and the surprise Power Archive. Now, we haven't talked about Power Archive, right? So, uh, this is going to start in $20, the, 20 well, the first 24 hours, and then probably when, when it ended, it will move to 25. So, what are Power Archives or a surprise Power Archive? The idea here is that we have a lot of them. Right now, we have 36, and we will give you one as a surprise. You will start with one, and with the surprise, you will get to for start or at the beginning of your adventure. Power Archives are the most important thing in the bone. We need to understand the Power Archive as a superpower, okay? And it's the main element to your adventure because without them, you're pr practically nothing. Today, we know that there are 36 discovered. As you know, discovering Power Archives with universal particles creating runes is kind of a job. So we believe that we can find a lot more, probably 48, probably 72, probably 96. But uh, with your support in Kickstarter, we can amplify this and get new of them. So where do you get this Power Archives and how all this thing works? In your left hand, you have all the resources that exist in the world on the bone. In your right hand, you have the exploration. Exploration is the, the start or it's the beginning of your adventure. This is how it looks like. You will use your phone. It's the only requirement you need. You need nothing else. And you will start exploring your actual world. Consider this is not a GPA-based experience. We don't like uh, that kind of stuff. So the, the technology we develop, what it does is that you will open the camera of your phone you will start exploring, and depending on the colors and the textures, you will find something like this. Out there in the world is full of colors, and the principle, or one of the principles of the bone, is that to get you out there, but not like just to walk with no sense, but to pay attention in the amazing world we live in, and to find resources. Everything starts when you find uh, pixels, that are full of universal particles is the first center of the circle. After that, you will start doing alchemy. The alchemy is only required by your phone. Combining these resources, if you have the essence or they are known as Q codes of the superpowers or power archives, then you will get and you will be able to cast these power archives. You need to consider also that the power archives are in the nature. So in order to obtain them, you will need to find them depending on the colors you're looking at. And not only that, you're gonna need the previous power archives you had on your inventory to use them to kind of defeat the powers that are in the nature and then be able to extract them. And then they will be yours forever to cast them, level up and specialize it. This takes me to the idea of the role. Uh, and I, and I, I like to call it your ever-changing role. A lot of people are asking like, so I need to pick a role at the beginning? No, the bone is in real life. You can change everything anytime as you want. Out there, there are six families. These families represent kind of the power icons we discover out there. For example, red family is mainly damage like when the CN family is mainly support, blue is resistance, and more of, the, more of that. But the main idea is that you can level up your power archives. You will level, in, level them up uh, when training, when you use them to make them more powerful. But at the end, that won't define your role. Your role is defined by the power archives that you are wielding in the moment of the fight. So if one day you decide to go all speed, well, you were probably 
a damage, a DPS, damage per second roll. But if you decide to go all blue, probably you will be kind of a tank. In the bone, we have two main stats. One, down, that, that you can see down in the image, are the power archives. So depending on the combination you made for each fight and the, the, the level that your power archives have, it's a role probably you're gonna have. But we need to remember that this is real life. So the stats that are up, that are up in, the, in the graph, they cannot be leveled up. If you wanna run faster, well, you need to go faster. If you, have, if you wanna have better accuracy, you cannot level up that. The thing with the caster gear that it's going to happen is that we are gonna measure everything. So we're gonna be capable of telling you what is happening, what's your accuracy level, your casting effectiveness, uh, your speed casting, and stuff like that. But, you know, power archives are so complex that also, can you uh, help me up here and keep like the explanation of all of this? Yeah, so what I'm going to explain now is what I like to call the anatomy of a power archive. Uh, as Mark said, all of our power archives are unique. This is very important. There's not gonna be two that are the same or do exactly the same. All of them are unique, have a unique name, and also all of them are going to have a cost. A cost in universal particles, so every time you use them in combat, your universal particles bar is going to decrease by the amount the power archive costs. Because casting or manipulating energy and matter you need to pay a price to, to be able to do that. Also, every single one of the power archives belongs to one of the families. So, for example, a power archive in the blue family ha may have something to do, or on, on average, something to do with resistance. The red family will have more damage-focused power archives. Now, there are three things that power archives can do. The first of them is do damage to your opponent or maybe to an ally, but mainly to an opponent. So damage is one of the, the three attributes or the three main attributes a power archive can have. The second one is healing. So you can heal yourself or heal an ally. And lastly, it's going to be a special effect. Power archives have the ability to place a special effect on your opponent, on yourself, or on an ally. What effects uh, you can find? Uh, maybe you can paralyze someone or decrease their cooldown, or maybe you can boost your resistance or your, or your attack power. So some of the alpha recruits are going to remember Tomato Fury. That's one, that was one of the most popular power archive that, that did exactly that. Every time you hit an enemy, it boosted your attack power. Also, all power archives, before you are able to use them, you need to do or to perform the correct movement pattern, the correct sequence of movements with your epon or in the combat simulator to be able to use them. And at last, all of them are going to have unique visuals. So you're going to be able to recognize what power archives um, the, the players are using by just looking at them. So this is like the main anatomy of a power archive. And I know this might seem a little bit complex, but I'm going to get more into detail with this example. Here, you can see uh, one, one player. Uh, she's actually hurt. She has the effect hurt. And you can see her life is decreasing. So that's why she casts a power archive called Green Breeze. Green Breeze, what it does is it heals you a little bit, but most importantly, it gives you the purify effect. The purify effect gets rid of the heart effect. So it's very important because power archives are going to play against each other. So they're going to they are going to be counters or specific decks that are going to play better against the style of, of another player. So having a, a team that's a balanced team, it's going to be very, very important. You also can see the casting pat pattern in the top right corner, how 
as she is performing it, the, the user interface indicates you are doing it correctly. Correctly. So this is how the first person view in the AR um, headset is going to look like. And now, to learn more about Power Archives, we decided to create a Kickstarter exclusive Caster digital book. What you're going to find in this digital book, it's going to be all the information you need about every single Power Archive. You're going to find stats. You're going to find his history. You're going to find the lore. You're going to find concept art of how it was developed. And you're going to find everything you need to know so you don't get lost. So this special collect collectionable item, it's going to be exclusive for Kickstarter. And this comes along with an, another important aspect of the game. That's going to be, how are you going to get resources? So resources, you're going to find them in exploration, but you're also going to have a battle pass. The battle pass in the bone is going to work the same as it works in every other game or almost in every other game that has a, a battle pass. It's going to have a specific duration in, in which you are going to be able to, to perform or to gain experience doing certain activities or quests. And you're going to gain experience. And by gaining experience, you're going to unlock different rewards. What rewards can you unlock? Uh, battle pass exclusive Nereas or resources. These are resource orbs. And inside, you can find universal particles of the different families or white universal particles that are going to serve as the in-game currency. And also, you're going to find some of the power archives in the, in the battle pass. So we decided to combine these two things, the, the battle pass and also the, the caster book, into a exclusive Kickstarter perk that Mark's going to explain. So the idea is to have one collectible item, software only, uh, for those people that they don't want to have a caster gear. Uh, and the, we call it Apprentice. And you will have the Kickstarter Nerd exclusive Founders Pack Surprise Power Archive, this collectible caster digital book, the Battle Pass, and the Epic Starter Bundle. So all of this is going to start in Kickstarter as an early bird perk in 40 bucks. And after it's, um, it will be limited in units. After that, it will go, it will grow to 50. Okay, so um, everyone, we came up to understand the headset. So the next thing we're gonna do is to explain uh, Mark, it to wait, you. Uh, You're you are forgetting something. Uh, being this a uh, uh, pre-launching party, I think yeah. it's time we give away some, some presents. So why don't we begin by giving away the prize of the Instagram um, giveaway dynamic that we had last week. OK, well, OK, OK. So before we explain you the, the caster gear, let's go right away with the Kickstarter giveaway. So this is what happened last week. We launched a Kickstarter giveaway on Instagram. We tell the people, or we ask the people to uh, tag two friends so, and tell them, hey, I want to be in your team. So right now, we're going to make it live. And after that, uh, we're going to come back to see how does a caster gear work. OK, does, does that make sense? OK, I'm just going to share my entire screen. I think it's going to be easier. Whoa. OK, so right now, here is the, the bone Instagram. Here is a Kickstarter giveaway. And the prices are we're going to give for the Three people, there are going to be three winners uh, with an early access to the app and a season battle pass that we already explained. So as you can see it, this is completely live. I'm going to log in here. I'm going to, here you go, start importing. And we're going to draw three winners. These are the rules really quick. Uh, if I am there because I tag some people, that will not count. We will refresh it. And the rules are you need to tell who's your team and tag two other people. Attention. I feel the tension. <laughs> and the winners are... <laughs> Congratulations to Steven Gross. He wants them in their team. It's in Spanish to Ivan Navi and Diego Garcia. 
Then we have Lamar C3, I guess, with two others, and Jim and Jim Michael Pierce too. Congratulations. Oh, I'm taking a screenshot and we can continue now, right? Right, let's let's move on. And congrats okay. to all the to all the winners. Uh, you'll you'll hear from us uh, tomorrow to be able to to get your prize. Cool. Now we came here to understand how does a caster gear works because everyone is asking like, do you actually have the technology? Do you have an e and How does this work? Uh, how does my phone is going to work? How much it is going to be? It is a stable. How it works? Can you show us like actual gameplay? Yeah, we can do that. So everything I'm going to show you now, I'm going to present you a video. And uh, just consider this. This is a pre-alpha gameplay. That means that art is not necessary final. And we still having some troubles of adjustments in, and measures and stuff that we need to calibrate. But what I did is that I went uh, this morning uh, to the park and I like literally record my phone to, to explain you and to show you as well as real as possible how this works so i'm gonna show you a video just a sec about the gameplay remember this is pre-alpha this is not finished but you will see that everything that we're telling you and showing you in the video is completely real Hello recruits, Mark here again. I wanted to make this video to show you how does the caster gear works and how does the actual gameplay looks like because it's kind of complicated with videos. Uh, but the, the idea here is that I'm gonna start recording my phone, I'm gonna put it in the headset and you will see what I'm actually looking at. And I'm gonna start uh, telling you at the same time with my voice what is happening so you can see the actual pre-alpha gameplay. The first thing I wanted to show you is the headset and the phone and how do they work. So the idea is very simple. You have the headset here. You will place your phone right here and then you will place the headset on over your head this way. Really quick, really stable. You can run, you can do a lot of stuff. And one very important thing is that you're not going to see through the camera. Here is the phone, but my eyes are right here. I'm actually gonna see like to the real life, but with this glass over here, we will project the augmented reality with all the user interface for you to interact with it in game. The next thing, of course, is your EPAN. This whole thing, it's called the caster gear. And with your EPAN, uh, you will actually cast your power archive, make me, making actual movements. So remember, precision speed is everything. One of the things that I wanted to explain is the user interface. So in the right corner, you can see the power archives you decided to wield before battle. In the middle, you will have your HP and the universal particles. And in the top, in the middle, all the information about the match you need to know. And in the left, you will find all your stats, uh, information about your teammates, and all the stuff you need to actually play. So right now, I'm gonna start running so you can see how this works. This is perfectly stable, and it's meant to be this way because this is a sport. Let's talk about casting. So remember, the Epon will detect your movements. Buttons are for navigation menus only. So in order to make them work, you need to cast the casting pattern of each power archive. The idea is, for example, this one, you will go left and then you will go right. If the pattern is correct, you will see a green line like this and then I can throw it just like this. But if your casting pattern is not correct, well, you will get this notification telling you, well, you are not as good as you thought you were. You can always have a tip right here 
or like this one so you can remember it. Now I want to talk about the basic attack. This is the weakest of the game, but it's really helpful sometimes. So the main idea is that you're gonna need to throw your power, no buttons, remember, just throw it this way. Naturally, if you don't do the exact movement, this won't work. I want to talk about defense. So defense is kind of an advanced mechanic, but I wanted to show it to you. Uh, defense in the bone works like this. If you are looking to the person that is hitting you, you will actually see the power, the superpower coming to attack you. If you are looking anywhere else, you will not see it. Either way, you will have a notification in your headset telling you that there's an incoming attack. Well, the idea is that if you're looking straight to the power, you will suddenly find these arrows, like up, left, right, and down. Well, if you have the correct timing and you do the precise movement, left, right, depending, when the superpower is coming, well, then you will parry or get some kind of defense. I think it's You know, I'm going to quit the video and we're going to upload it because it's a six minute video trailer, but we just wanted to show you how this works and let's, let's get going. So right now, as you can see, we have a pre-alpha gameplay that completely works, that you have your powers, you have your air catch, you have your weapon, everything is in order. Oh, just, there we go. Okay, so uh, to keep going, uh, why don't you, uh, something you don't know that is, as leader game design, also it's also a hardware engineer and he is kind of in charge of the mechanics of the hardware. This is weird, you know, in a, in a game, in a gaming company like us, because they're usually focused in software, but we're not. We're fo also focused on hardware. So why don't you? Why do? You, why also don't you explain us how does this works? Sure. Um, um, before I begin explaining the Epon, one important thing I, I want to tell you is the the gameplay you just saw. It's mainly of the training mode and the online combat mode uh, with the with the caster gear. And we're gonna upload the the full video. And you're gonna also have subtitles in, in Spanish for those who, who didn't see them. Those are also gonna be there. And now I'm happy to present you a working prototype of the EPON. So, you know, this is tangible, this is real. The technology works. Uh, it's right here, you can see it, as well as on the screen. And I'm gonna explain a little bit about it. So, this works with AAA batteries. Uh, the battery life it's around 10 hours or more of actual gameplay so it depends on how hardcore you want your gaming experience to be this can be up to a week or more of of gameplay and in your in your epon you're gonna have the casting detection system so this is actually going to detect your movements with the sensors it has you also have the navigation uh buttons uh, as you saw, buttons are for navigation all, only. And this EPON connects to your smartphone using Bluetooth technology. Uh, it has also well, a trigger, it has an indication LED, LED. So everything you, you need uh, in the EPON, it's, it's here. So this is real, a working prototype. I'm also going to show you the headset. So here is the headset. One important thing to mention uh, about the headset is the frame of the headset, like the, the, the plastic frame. This comes from a third party company. We decided to, to join them or to partner with them to keep the cost as cheap as possible. And also because in this headset that it's very high quality and very sturdy, we can add our proprietary system of sensors. So these sensors are all developed by the bone engineers. And these sensors are the ones that are gonna help 
with the gaming experience, they are going to detect all the information or receive the information the EPON sends. And this is also going to connect to your smartphone using Bluetooth. So this goes uh, in your head, as you saw in the video. I have, uh, you can also use uh, headphones with it to improve the, the audio quality. So here you have it, the caster gear, fully working prototype. I'm going to do one last quick uh, sure. show, showcase of it. <clears throat> and and one last important thing, sorry. Your, your smartphone goes here, and your smartphone goes here. Any smartphone that can run the, the app, it's compatible with this headset. And also, we intend to make the, the bone compatible with any AR headset that exists out there in the market. So that's very, very important. But right now, in this Kickstarter campaign, we wanted you guys to have everything you needed right out of the box. So if you go for a Kickstarter perk that includes a caster gear, you don't need to worry about anything else. So you don't need to go and look out for an extra headset. Um, so, so yeah, but our plan, uh, maybe you can uh, talk more about this, Mark, but our plan is to make the bone compatible with any headset out there. Yeah, you know, out there we know that Google, Facebook, Apple, Sony, and everyone is developing their own AR headsets, and they are awesome. They're going to be, like, amazing. But right now there are $3,000 each headset and stuff like that. So we decided that we needed to start now, but in the near future, when these headsets of the big companies start decreasing in price as technology works, we will only be another app for you in those headsets. So you don't need to worry, but our mission is to give you the cheapest and most accessible price in order to play with the Scaster gear. And well, as, as I told you, there you go with your phone. So uh, the Caster gear, these two things is everything you need to play. Oops, right here. Everything you need to play. It's gonna retail in 250 US dollars. Uh, these both things, these two things, they are called the caster gear, and we intend them to sell them after Kickstarter in a lot of other places. But, but, uh, as you, uh, as a community, we wanted to reward you some way. The first thing we did is that we pull up a package. We didn't want you just to give you this, you know? We want you to give a better gaming experience. That's why the caster perk it's composed by naturally the caster gear, but also the founder's pack because everybody must be a founder. A surprise power archive, so you can start your adventure with two and use your ribbon straight away. And, um, and, and of course the caster gear. Now we have a surprise for you. We have been working tons of times to make this happen. This is a price is not going to happen again. And the idea is this one. Kickstarter is an open platform. We cannot regulate who enters there and who doesn't. But we know that you are watching this right now and you know the value of this. So for the first 24 hours, we will have a special price for you because we want to reward your effort. So you will have this caster perk that it's going in the future to be at instead of 279's US retail price, this caster gear is gonna retail in 150 US dollars. So this reward of 150, we're making this huge effort because we know you deserve it as a community because you were there where when no one else uh, believed in us and the bonus shares. So we want you to have it, but remember, this is going to happen only the first 24 hours.
Well, that Kickstarter um, cluster perks seem pretty, pretty cool, but I think we, we also need a, a package that includes everything we have offered so far. What do you mean, like, with everything? Yeah, like, I mean, it needs to include, of course, the caster gear, early access, the Kickstarter exclusive Nerea, Founders Park, also a star prize power archive, the caster digital book, and why not, the battle pass. So everything uh, a player needs to begin their adventure. Okay, but if you want to include everything for the community, like like a real huge package, I think we can go bigger. What about if we do what you are suggesting, but let's throw some something else. What about if we throw the Power Archive starter pack that casters can start their adventure with four Power Archives instead of one? And what about if we also include a legendary starter bundle? And the idea is that this package will include the three starter areas that there are collectible and they will be really hard to obtain if they are not in here. And now we can have a really full package. So we decided to throw everything we had, okay? This is the most uh, complex package. So everything you see in the screen, it's gonna be included. We call it the full caster, and it will be the legendary starter bundle, the founder's pack, the caster digital book, the battle pass, the caster gear, the power archive starter pack, and the Nerea, and the click Kickstarter exclusive Nerea. And instead of a 329 US retail price, I believe we can do this for the community only the first. 24 hours hear me well only the first 24 hours for 200 so let's reward them those who want this experience those who believe this project and let let them be a full caster since the beginning with this special perk that it's called the full caster and naturally if you have a friend if you have a husband if you have a i don't know a brother uh we're also launching the full caster duo so you will get the same perk two times for the same price so you can start your adventure and fight your own uh with this this special perk and <sighs> and before we begin it's time to give away more prices so more we, prices. Had, we had different quests during the past year that gave away well now we are talking about the caster gear. So we always said we were going to give away Epons, but now we are not only going to give away Epons, so we decided to, to give the full caster uh, Kickstarter reward. So I'll remind you that includes the, the, the exclusive Nerea, the Founders Park, the Power Archive, and a caster gear. So let's remember what different quests we had that granted a caster perk. We had the referrals program. We have the winner of the alpha tournament. We also have the caster training quest. And at last, we have the caster training and the alpha tournament raffle. So every point you earned in the caster training um, quest and in the alpha tournament is going to count to a raffle into the raffle of two more caster gears. So I don't want to take longer, or do I? No, let's do this. And the winners. Why don't you show me the winners, yeah. And the winners of a caster for the referrals are. Dun, 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 dun. There are no winners. So, congrats. Dambarest is the, the sole winner of the referral program. Serge SR is our winner of the Alpha tournament. And Ferron Kunz, the winner of the caster training quest. So congratulations to you all. You are also going to hear from us in the following days uh, to tell you how you are going to receive your, your prize. And as you see, the raffle has no winners yet. And that's because any legit raffle needs to be done live. So we're going to go to a similar dynamic like the Instagram giveaway. So Mark, let's do the raffle. Sure. We have all the people. I'm just going to show names. We have all the people and all the points they got. 
This includes the caster quest, caster training quest, but also includes the, um, the pre-alpha tournament. So what we made is that each point represents one raffle ticket. We put it in the software in order to make it. Everything is here and we're gonna have two winners. So when I click this, the two names that appear will be the winners of two caster perks that includes all the things that we already said. Are you ready? So congratulations to Open. Ha, there's a guy named Open. I hope you know who you are. And Rafael Pastor Castellanos. You two guys, congratulations. <laughs> you are the winners of this discussion. And we're going to make an extra dynamic here. We're going to contact them tomorrow. If they do not respond in less than 24 hours, okay, hear me well. If we contact you and you do not respond in the next 24 hours, we will run this again and pick up two new, um, two new winners. So congratulations to you both. And we're almost ending this. But I believe that it's time to talk about the future. Okay, so we have the technology, but what is the future of the bone? What do we see in you as a community, what you should expect? We define the bone and we said that the bone, it's a real life action RPG video game, but we also said it's a technology based sport. And in order to be a sport, we need two components. The first one, it's a lot of people playing, taking really serious in order to create esports league. It doesn't matter if it's a world championship or it's a local event like regional or in your city or something. The idea of leagues, the idea of playing this competitively is the future we are targeting and the one that we want to make make it happen. The second thing that has a real sport is the viewers. So we already have the technology. You saw how I did record my phone. So the streaming option is already out there. Uh, the bone, the team, the amazing team we have in the bone, we are committed that in less than in three years, you're going to be sitting in your couch watching some epic battle in some iconic location around the world because that is the goal of us some of them we will play some of us we will watch but this is kind of crazy right and we did save rest a lot of times that that means stay together the only way we can achieve this the only way we're going to be capable of creating esports in less than three years, the only way that we're gonna make sure you can fight in your local city within your local community is with the concept of recruitment centers. Let me explain you why is this. In the business opportunities that are out there with this concept. The recruitment center, it's a very simple concept. The idea is that you as a player would be able to open the app and you will have a button that it's called recruitment center. You will click it and it will pop out via GPS. All the tournaments could be official tournaments, could be training uh, just for fun, but via GPS, you will find where are uh, the next events coming up. So you can go out and play. Remember, we do not expect you that like go running in the street, wielding an IPA. No, this is a sport and it must be seen that way. Like with previous organization, set it in one place. The cool thing is that, well, there's, the world is our stage. So we don't need to go to a specific location each time. It could happen, but it doesn't need to be. And you can go there with or without a gear that's fundamental because those of you that aren't able to get a gear right now because a lot of things could happen and but the idea is if you don't have one 
you can go to these recruitment centers and they will uh, rent them for you. They will lend them to you uh, so you can be able to play. But you will always have your phone and your phone is your profile. All the power archives you have, everything lives there. And the only thing you're doing is renting these things in order to play. You can see it pretty much as bowling. How many of you have played bowling, but how many of you have like the bowling ball? So we know that in order to grow and grow really fast and have a lot of tournaments around, these recruitment centers are a must, but we're not intended to make them. The bone doesn't want to make these recruitment centers because the world is really big. So it will take a long time. How are we gonna fix this? The other side of the recruitment center is the people who is capable of creating and organizing these events. And who are they? Well, houses. Houses are gonna be able to create local recruitment centers. Let's remember, that houses are groups that players are free to create and establish with their own rules, philosophy, and history. Today, we have a lot of them out there gathering, uh, having a lot of fun in organizing themselves. Well, the idea is like this. Let's imagine we have a house. I picked Newdon uh, because it's an official one. So Newdon decided that they want a recruitment center. The only thing they need to do is obtain six caster gears because with them, you have the minimum requirements to create a local event that it's three versus three. So New Dawn will get these six gears and then we will open an option in the app to, for them to create this local event. Uh, and you as a player will click play. And if New, if New Dawn is near, with an event, let's say Friday we have a training event and Sunday we have an official event like hosted uh, with the bone, like New Dawn and the bone. But to make this happen, and a lot of people is watching this as a business opportunity, we decided to make an, a special perk. This a special perk is called eSports Basics. So this is how it works and this is what are we are committing. The first thing is that this perk includes six caster gears. Naturally, they will get instant uh, access to the recruitment center when, when we um, open it for the public. And then they will get a perk. It's called special communications. What is this? I will work along with you for one year at least. For one year, I will personally work with you with a lot of people, a lot of, uh, we have great uh, team, we have a great team in the bone. We have people that have done League of Legends in America, Free Fire, like manage the whole region. So we know as a team about esports. So the idea of the special communications is that we're gonna work along with you. You will have a special Discord server just for this, we will have webinars and training videos for you to develop a brand and a house and make a business out of it. And also with this perk, you, you will have a, an official recognition. What is this? Your name will be reserved. And also we will create your house sigil. Your house sigil will be a collectible item inside the app for the players to obtain. Now, if you, uh, decide to just give for free your sigil. It's fine. It's your own. It's your house. In this case, what's new Dawn? New Dawn will have a sigil. But if you say, for example, I want to, the only way to win my house sigil is by uh, winning a new Dawn tournament. Well, it's you. It's yours. It's yours to give away. Uh, that's how it works. And also, you will have a special early access. So these perks include, for example, let's say New Dawn is willing to make a tournament and next, I'm gonna say, let's say July. This July, he's saying, hey, why don't we make a tournament this July? So the bone will go with them, we'll give them the, we'll provide them the, 
the requirements they need to to create this event and um to create sorry to create this event just a sec uh, you will be able to create this event and let's say you invite a hundred people naturally we will give access to that hundred people so the the concept of the special early access is for that to help you create events the sports basic it's going to be in kickstarter for uh fifty thousand dollars that include the six caster gears and the official recognition recruitment center and the special communications now the people in well you know to make this happen it's to make an example of how it's going to work because there's a lot of people saying hey but you need a lot of people to make this work let me show you this i i just love this uh this is a map a real-time map of the people that it's in the bone right now uh and i decided to start it with cancun because i believe everyone knows it and loves it for example we have 24 people right now in cancun the idea is that we can create a recruitment center there and we can start playing in cancun but each point you see represents a group of recruits around the world right now america us latin america europe it's full of recruits so the idea is start pushing uh these houses and recruitment centers so everyone can have access to an ipar and gear and local tournaments and they don't have to wait for us to come because as a community we need to build this for make this to work so probably a lot of you are thinking as business people and we know that and we develop this this way there's a, another perk think or thought but by uh to make business and it's called esports elite include 12 gears instead of six include the recruitment center the special communications also the special early access obviously and the official recognition but also those who want to make a business we're going to commit with them how we're going to make this well first of all we're going to create their own unique house naria yes players will be able to obtain in-game the naria of your house and if they buy it you will receive us a corporation or as a house a royalty on the sales because it's yours so the idea is we know that as developers we need to provide you um a way to make business and to be sustainable since the beginning and the second part we're including is the esports sigil arena what is this there's going to be a special in the combat simulation it's combat simulator with the areas you will find different ones one of them it's called the esports arena the idea is that only in kickstarter the people who support us with this perk will have all this and we will create the arena with your sigil forever so players will be able to fight in the combat simulator and see your flag the flag of your house your sigil inside the game all this perk uh, it's intended to make business. It's intended to help you to create an esports brand, an esports team, develop it and grow, and grow as fast as you can. We're committed to help you uh, make it. We're gonna make a business with you and we're, we're going to work along for at least one year to make this happen. So don't miss these rewards because they're not going to happen again. In the following years there will be these esports perks but it's not going to happen ever again uh this is going to be three thousand dollars for everyone who wants to make a business and this is how we see the future wait again yeah just a quick a quick uh thing before um the esports basic it's not fifty thousand uh, dollars that was a mistake yeah it's 1500 so one thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> and the esports elite is three thousand uh, dollars for this amazing business opportunity 
for your house or for your corporation. So you know what happens now? We have one last uh, competition to announce the winners of. So we are gonna announce the winners of the Discord house competitions. So we're gonna tell you who are the top 10 houses that, as you remember, are gonna be showcased in the Kickstarter campaign. So you're gonna have a special place where everybody's gonna be able to see your banner in, in our campaign. And the winners, the top 10 are, and congratulations to House Arsenia, Christmas Creed, come on, Empire of Peru, Templario, Thunderstrike, the legendary Wolf Order, Gabi Jesus, Dobakin. Who's winning? La Orden del Fénix, and, and in the first place, Newman. So congratulations, congratulations to, to, to you. <laughs> and well, you are going to be showcased in front of hundreds of thousands of people in our Kickstarter campaign. And talking about Kickstarter, I'm going to sum up what Kickstarter is and how does it work. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Kickstarter is, Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform where you upload an innovation like us with a specific funding goal that you need to reach in a set amount of time. So our goal, our funding goal is $250,000. And I know it might seem like a lot, but that's how much money we need to take these prototypes and everything we have just told you and make them into a reality, to be able to give you the gaming experience that you deserve and to be able to keep on building this project and this great community. Also, the time limit is going to be one month. So we launch next Tuesday on March 16 at around nine o'clock in the morning, central time. And the campaign is going to end Friday, April 16. Um, so it's one month later and we need to reach this goal before. But one important thing that I, I, need, to, I, I need to say, the faster we reach our goal, the greater the things that we're going to be able to accomplish together. We have great surprises for you if we surpass the 250,000 funding goal. So there are things like adding more power archives to the game, adding new sections to the game. And one that really excites me, begin the development of a completely new EPON. So you are not only going to have one, but in the future, you are going to be able to have different EPONs if this Kickstarter campaign goes well. And another important thing I want to say, the success of the campaign depends mainly in the first 24 hours. So the first 24 hours are key for you and for us as a company. For you, because it's when you're going to be able to get the cheapest perks that there are going to be. That's why they are so cheap because it's where we want to make this a win-win situation. So the first 24 hours are crucial. So if you intend or if you plan to support us on Kickstarter, doing it in the first 24 hours, it's twice as helpful as if you do it later on. So the faster we reach our goal and the faster we can get to well yeah to the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars the greater this game is going to become i don't know and if you want to add something yeah to just let's remember that the bone is about it, its community it's about the dream all of us have i mean we are the developers where you are the players we need to work together in order to get this out and to achieve the future we just present you we believe we have everything we need. We have an amazing product. In our side, we have an amazing team of developers that can achieve great things. And we also have an amazing community that has been working for over a year with us to get us here. It's time. The bone in Kickstarter is not the end. It's actually the start mm -hmm. section. Uh, as soon as we achieve that, we can get out to work to make this happen. So before we end, what about if we wrap up everything? Uh, we just said 
to end it here. Yeah, so I'm going to summarize the gaming experience. As we said, you have two main parts. You have the experience you're going to get with your Epon or with the caster gear, and the experience you're going to have with your smartphone. So in your smartphone, it's going to live, well, in the internet, but in your smartphone, your profile, and using only your smartphone, you're going to be able to explore the world to gather resources. You're also going to be able to use those resources in the Alchemy Lab to create power archives that you're going to be able to use in combat or exchange in the market with other players as well as acquire in-game items. Then you're going to be able to practice and fight with recruits all around the world in the multiplayer online battle arena combat simulator using your Nyria. Also, all social interaction, so houses, uh, kingdoms, and well, maybe a chat or, or, or ways to interact socially, uh, all of that's going to live inside the app. Now, with your Epon or with the caster gear, you're going to have access to real life combat. You're also going to be able to train against a bot when you are alone. So if you don't have anyone to play with uh, at the moment in, in, in real life, you can go online also to train with other, with other players or with the bot. And lastly, you're going to have access to extended stats in your profile. So the caster gear gathers different stats like your accuracy, um, your speed, your stamina. So everything you need to train, you're going to find it when you use the caster gear in the app. And lastly, the recruitment centers are at the center. Well, recruitment center, yeah, <laughs> because, because they put together both experiences. So if you don't have a, a caster gear, you can go to a recruitment center. And if you have a caster gear, you can also go to a recruitment center to attend sparring matches, tournaments, to attend community quests, community events, and all the amazing things we, we have in plans for the future. So this is like the bone experience in a nutshell. <laughs> and out there, we know there are houses. These houses are built of people because the center of the universe is you, the player. And we, it will always be like that. But if we want to see it, like, zoom it, like making zoom out and see what the bone is, it's actually a lot of amazing people like you gathering into groups, like creating houses, for example. Those houses can be as some of them will be bigger than others. Some of them will be smaller. Some of them will be across the world from where you are. Others will be in your same city and there will probably be uh, your worst enemies or your best allies. But as soon as we continue evolving, we will get more and more people. Right now, we are a lot of a lot of us trying to make this. And when the people ask me what is the bone, the official thing is a real life multiplayer game on um, technology based sport. But actually this is the bone. The bone is the connections we are capable of making around the world in, within our local communities, creating a new experience, never seeing break, groundbreaking, with this groundbreaking technology and with the esports we want to make, empowering you to make this. This is actually the future. And this is the perfect definition of what is the bone. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, see you in about four days in Kickstarter. This is this is the end. This was about the pre-launching party. It's everything we have. We wanted to show you, well, in the a lot of stuff, but just to let you know, in the Kickstarter campaign, there are more stuff than this, but we're being here for an hour and 20 minutes right now. So thank you very much, everyone that was here watching, paying attention, having fun in the comments. I can see them. I cannot follow them because there are a lot, but I can see them. Uh, I believe we are going to change an industry with this. But it's not about us as developers. It's about us as a community in Discord, in Kickstarter. And we're going to make anything that it's required in order to make this happen. Uh, so thank you very much. 
uh, if anyone has uh, an, a question, we can answer them. So, so right now we're going to answer questions in Spanish and English. En este momento vamos a empezar también a hablar en español. Entonces, cualquier pregunta que tengan, si la hacen en un idioma, la vamos a responder en ese idioma. Si la hacen en otro, en otro. What I just said is that if they write their question in Spanish, we will answer it that way. Uh, if you want to leave uh, because you don't have any questions, it's perfectly fine. See you on March 16th, Tuesday, March 16th, 9 a.m. Central Time. Okay, we're launching at that moment, the first 24 hours. Also, I don't know if you want to say something else before we go to the Q&A. Um, no, I'm just looking at the questions. Okay. So one uh, concurring question is, and I'm going to, well, we can answer it in both languages and it's in both. When is the app coming out? So as you saw, the app is coming out in different Uh, different times depending on the priority uh, on in what priority recruit you are depending on the perk you get so we're gonna begin having access to the app in in july or in august this is an estimate entonces la cuando va a salir la aplicación de nuevo este la aplicación de nuevo va a salir en en agosto o julio este, obviamente esto va a ser por etapas, dependiendo de las prioridades de acceso que adquieras en, en tu recompensa de Kickstarter. Eh, y de ahí vamos a ir poco a poco metiendo más personas conforme se vaya desarrollando, desarrollando el juego. So, I think this clears things up. So, expect having access to begin, uh, digo, to the, to the app. As soon as the Kickstarter campaign ends and is a success, Uh, we're going to begin working in the missing sections of the app and we're hope to release to release it as soon as possible and so more or less august and uh, august this year so this is another concurring question i'm gonna yeah, let that, Mark that answer this yeah. one yeah so this is what we're going to do there's so many questions popping out that i'm going to try to figure out uh, the the ones that are kind of the same and i'm going to pop them out To answer them. Lo que estoy diciendo es que voy ya, hay demasiadas preguntas que están saliendo, ni siquiera me da tanto tiempo de leerlas. Entonces voy a escoger las que se parezcan mucho y alguien lo va a seleccionar para ponerlo y la voy a contestar. Bitbone. Eh, Bitbone es eh, la moneda interna del juego. Entonces, como saben, todos los juegos tienen un tipo de moneda. El nuestro se llama Bitbone. El día de mañana que tú quieras comprar una Nerea dentro del juego, te va a pedir eh, que tengas Bitbone. Y entonces, a uh, eso se refiere. So, Bitbone is the in-game currency we're going to use. Uh, so, if you're trying to buy an area, for example, or buy something that it's in the market, uh, you will be required to pay with Bitbone. So, you are going to exchange real money for Bitbone. That's, that's what it is. And, and the golden Bitbone, that's... Uh... <laughs> okay. And the golden Bitbone, the most asked oh, question in the world. Uh, la, ¿Qué es una Golden Bitbone? Esa es una de las preguntas más fuertes. Este, les voy a explicar qué es. Por fin, todas las personas que reciban una Golden Bitbone, y esto es importante, el lunes 15 de marzo, antes del lanzamiento, les vamos a mandar un mail. Todos los que son ganadores de algo. Por ejemplo, si tú estabas en el centro de reclutamiento anterior y llegaste a rango 3, vas a recibir un premio, que son tres Golden Beatles. Si llegaste a rango 5, cinco Golden Beatles. Si te ganaste una Golden Beatles en el nuevo centro de reclutamiento, la vas a obtener. ¿Y qué es una Golden Beatles? Eh, la idea de una Golden Beatles es una especie de código que vas a poder hacer redeem o canjear dentro de la aplicación, pero no por una cosa en específico, sino que te va a salir una, un cúmulo de cosas que necesites y tú decidirás porque lo canjeas. Entonces, supongamos que yo en este momento canjeo una Golden Bitbone en la aplicación, ¿qué me podría salir? Me podría salir una de las Nereas que no tengo, me podría salir muchísimos, bueno, un archivo de poder que llevo tiempo buscando y no lo he encontrado, o incluso me podría llegar hasta salir un eh, ticket gratuito 
para ir a un evento cercano a mí y que me presten una iPhone. El concepto de un Golden Big Bone es que tú cuando lo canjees vas a tener distintas opciones. Entonces, recuerden, el lunes 15 les mandamos un mail y les decimos quién tiene Golden Big Bones, cuántas tienen. So, um, going back in English, what's a Golden Big Bone? I, I think I already said that. No, I just talked about Big Bone. A Golden Big Bone, it's a special in-game currency and it's kind of a code that you're going to be able to redeem inside the app. The idea is quite simple. You're gonna redeem it and then we'll, you will see, like we will pop up some options for you to choose. Inside, uh, you will have several rewards you can pick from. Uh, the idea of that rewards is that it's stuff that you really need. For example, uh, an area you don't have or a free ticket to assist an, an, uh, to an event that it's nearby you or some um, resources that you are missing or a power archive. So a golden big bone is the concept of having something that you're going to redeem with when, where uh, a lot of options will pop up and you will need to decide which one to pick. Okay, ¿qué otra pregunta so, tenemos? Uh, oh, I wanna, I wanna, wanna sí, voy a agregar algo. Puedes tener más de un Golden Bitbone. Entonces, a las personas que estuvieron o que ganaron alguna recompensa en el pasado, sobre todo la comunidad de alfas que, que entró antes, este, si por alguna razón ganaron un Golden Bitbone, pues pueden... este pues pu pueden tener más de uno y se va a sumar este, y tener más de una de estas recompensas. Um, bueno, voy a contestar una que vi, si quieres, en lo que buscas tu otra que quieras como poner, o Ajá. no sé si ya tengas alguna lista. Pues si la, si la quieres, lo, yo creo que la más preguntada es esta. Ok, so, what about the iglo? ¿Qué pasó con el iglo? Bueno, I'm gonna... La voy a contestar en español y después en inglés. So first I'm going to go in Spanish and then in English. Entonces, la e -Globe es una IPON, como, como esta, que esta es la e one que está en nuestros planes de desarrollo a futuro. Como bien saben, bueno, o si no lo saben, se los comento, desarrollar hardware es muy, muy, muy caro y muy demandante de tiempo. Por lo tanto, no podemos arriesgar el negocio ahorita, bueno, arriesgar el proyecto más bien, desarrollando muchísimas IPONs diferentes. Entonces, en Kickstarter hay una meta que si llegamos a ese número de fondeo, que se tienen que meter a la campaña para saber cuánto es, si logramos llegar a ese número de fondeo, nos comprometemos a iniciar el desarrollo, no quiere decir que va a estar lista en seis meses o en un año, pero nos comprometemos a iniciar el desarrollo del Eagle, ¿ok? Now, I'm going to go in English. So, as you know, developing <laughs> hardware is time consuming and money, con money consuming. So, it's, re it's very, very expensive and hard. So, we didn't want to risk the project developing more than one EPON. So, the EGLO, that's the, the, the second uh, EPON we have in mind, we are planning, it's in our future plans for development. But you, as a community, can make this happen faster. And it's very simple. If, if you back us in Kickstarter and we reach a certain amount of money as a stretch goal, we are going to begin development of the Eglo. Or if there's an other epon, a different epon that the community prefers before the, the Eglo, then we're going to do it. So it doesn't mean it's going to come out as soon as the Kickstarter campaign ends if we reach the goal. It means that we're going to, we, We make the commitment to begin development as soon as the Kickstarter campaign ends, if we reach that funding goal. So, I don't uh, know. I, I, let me take this one. I just love this one. I'm going to go straight <laughs> in English, and after that, I'm going to go in Spanish. So, how would paralysis work in the AR mode? I actually love this question because what's a <laughs> kind of a discussion in game mechanics, and I'm going to give my vision. So, this is the idea. Let's say someone cast me a superpower that includes paralysis. Naturally, uh, I will be able to still move my legs, you know? I can run, so I'm not really in a paralysis mode. But what we're making is game mechanics with hardware that accomplish the idea of the attribute that in this case is paralysis. 
for example let's say also just through me just a uh, power archive that it that, that has a paralysis thing and i will receive a notification in my headset that it will say if you move your repon you will die or you will explode or something like that so naturally i will be running suddenly i will get the notification and bah, i will be completely frozen because if this thing feels a movement kaboom so the idea is that in the near in the future well we, we, not in the future we're already doing that we'll have a lot of attributes like that to do stuff like that work to make stuff like that work in real life ok me paso español puse esta pregunta porque me encanta tuvimos muchas discusiones lo que dice es cómo funciona la parálisis en un modo de realidad aumentada y lo que explicaba en inglés era que pues naturalmente pues, si yo te aviento un poder que dice parálisis pues tú no te paralizas, ¿no? Tus pies se siguen moviendo. Pero estamos trabajando en, en game, este, en mecánicas de juego para poder simular esto. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo funciona parálisis en el modo de realidad aumentada? Supongamos que Oso me avienta un poder, yo lo recibo y me sale una notificación que me dice, estás paralizado, no te muevas. Si yo llego a mover la hipo tantito, esto detecta todo. Entonces, automáticamente exploto y pierdo una vida o pierdo el juego en ese momento. Entonces, visualmente hablando, una persona va corriendo y cuando la paralizan, se frisea. Porque si la mueve, pierde. Y la idea es trabajar con todos los atributos, con mecánicas que combinan el hardware para simularlo en la vida real. Uh, so right now it's an hour and 30. Uh, we just reach the limit of, of everything, uh, of, of this event. Uh, so I don't know if, uh, let's say goodbye. Do, do you want to take like the last one? Do you have one? Um, some are asking if the the is the houses that want to be involved in esports needs to buy the headset and the iPhone, and the answer is yes. So there's no way of becoming a uh, an esports house without acquiring a recruitment center reward. Entonces, las casas que se quieran involucrar en esports sí tienen que comprar el headset y el iPhone. Eh, para eso se crearon como los centros de reclutamiento, esa recompensa. Y pues no sé, creo que con eso hay algún par de dudas pendientes este, que las pueden dejar, este, las tenemos anotadas. Y también hubo, hay una parte, Mar, que en, en la dinámica de Instagram faltaron anunciar tres ganadores más. Los vamos a anunciar también este, el día de mañana. ¿Y qué más? Solo puse tres. Pusiste dos y era cinco. So in the Instagram giveaway, uh, we're missing three more winners and we're, we're going to announce them. Or if you can do it right now. Uh, it yeah, be... yeah, let's do that. Keep, keep going and I, and I will fix it. Just a okay, second. so give a second. So I'll be, ask, I'll be answering one more question. Um, so about, bueno, sobre la orden del Fénix, mándanos un mensaje y, y por supuesto que sí. Um, ¿Qué más? Will there be battle pets? I, I like to see Neria as, as a battle pet, so I don't know if that answers the, the question. And we might include a, a game mode in the future where you fight side by side with your, with your Neria. So that would be kind of like a, a battle pet. But you can see battle pets as a, the old Neria as a, as a battle pet. Um, so, well, there's that. Now, um, las batallas se podrán espectar sin el casco. Este es una función que no está ahorita, pero que sí tenemos pensado en el futuro, que las personas puedan ver tanto lo que está viendo otra persona en su headset como, como verlo de en tercera persona cuando sea como una liga de esports más profesional. So the question was if you can expect um, battles without using the headset like in a spectator mode. And that's one feature that we do plan to include in the future. Um, well, it's it's on the way. Um, I have else? it here. I have it here. Ah, you are ready? Okay, so we're yeah. gonna jump into the missing Instagram winners. So yeah, let's well, go. Just say so if the previous winners pop up, we are gonna well re re redo it. Yeah, just so you know. <laughs> 
So oh, let's just share everything. It's gonna be easier. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we were missing two Instagram winners. My mistakes. Three, My three mistake. Instagram winners. No, uh, I just saw the the file. So we have three right now. There were five prizes. Oh, yes, we're yes, missing yes. two. Oh, uh, so just to remember, Steven Gross is one winner. Lamsar Free, I'm gonna say, is another winner. And Michael Pierce. Michael Pierce is the third winner. I'm going to pick two uh, more winners right now, doing the same thing. Uh, we you, have... you, can, you can do the re-pick winner there in the, in the scene. Or... Yeah, because, OK, yes, just sir. one rule. There are no, uh, we cannot have the same winners. So if they repeat, I'm going to re-pick it. So the two other winners I missed because I was thinking in a lot of stuff. Sorry about that. And the winners are the two other winners of the giveaway in Instagram. Sorry, means 103, three, no, 3103 and Avidelo Garcia. Um, they are getting the rules. They wonder, so it looks like means is crying. <laughs> I'm asking them for being their team, but that's cool. And they're saying, let's do the best team. So we have the five winners. Sorry about that. Uh, with this, uh, we're concluding uh, this live stream. I hope you did really enjoy it. Uh, we're, we have been working a lot to, to develop this to you. Uh, and see you in Kickstarter next Thursday, 9 a.m. Name next Tuesday, 9 a.m. March Tuesday, Tuesday March 16, 9 a.m. And let's remain active in the Discord. You know the bots are there for your support. And well, let's make the bone the next big thing in gaming. So thank everyone that stayed. Uh, we know it was a long event, but this is just the beginning of of the of the ride. So get ready for what's coming. Get ready. See you next Thursday. Have a great night, people. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs>